Shepherds fight for their sheep. If there are wolves or bears or something that wants to harm the sheep, a really good shepherd will go and fight for their sheep. But a bad shepherd will run away and leave the sheep to fight for themselves. When there is a shepherd that cares for his sheep, the sheep love the shepherd because they know they owe their lives to their shepherd. The Bible calls Jesus a good shepherd because Jesus isn't afraid of any wolf or any bear. In fact, the Bible says that God's rescue mission that was completed in the work of Jesus was fulfilled on the cross. When Jesus defeated the ultimate monsters that threatened his sheep, sin and death. Now his sheep who have met their shepherd know that they are safe and secure. That if God would give even his own son for them, then there is no good thing that God will keep away from his sheep. Jesus tells us that he is the good shepherd, and we as people are all his sheep. The Bible constantly calls our God a defender and a refuge and fortress because our God wants to be the one that we run to when we are scared, hurt, and tired. We have a good shepherd that loves us and will fight our battles for us. Jesus says he is such a good shepherd that he will even give his own life for his sheep. But Jesus says there are sheep that aren't currently following him and they need to know about this good shepherd. Our God really loves and cares for us. He wants to see us full of joy and living our abundant life. It breaks God's heart to see people living miserably in sin. It breaks God's heart to see how badly sin hurts people. Jesus tells us he wants to fight against that which hurts people even if it means giving up his own life. He is the good shepherd and we need to follow his voice.